Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you an example on uh, OLS and it's related to the demand for college as a function of uh, the most important factors affecting it. So demand for college is measured as the enrollment per thousands of students and the cost is the cost of the tuition of attending the college and the distance is how far uh, a student lives uh, from the college. So uh, the sample size we have is 500 and the R square, the adjusted R square are very close because we have a large sample size. The SER takes the same unit of measurement of the demand for college. So if this one is related to enrollment, which are the number of students, then this is again 1,400 students. Okay, so SER always takes the same unit of measurement of the dependent value. And um, everything between bracket under the coefficient is the standard error of the coefficient. This is the standard error of the coefficient on distance. And the first question is to compute the significance uh, or st statistical significance of the, um, uh, of the variable cost and the variable distance using t statistics. So if, I, if I'm using t-statistic, then it's basically, as we um, mentioned before, it's basically, we take the estimated value. Let me write it in terms of the betas. So it's the beta hat minus the estimated beta under the null over the standard error of the beta hat. Okay, and we have the hypothesis in mind is that the beta hat cost is equal to zero and the alternative is that beta hat cost is not equal to zero and it's very important every time that we're trying to do or perform a hypothesis test to write our hypothesis in front of us so we can just substitute here so it's going to be two 0.1 minus the hypothesized value which is 0 over the standard error which is 0 0.56 okay and don't forget there is a negative sign here and the answer is negative 3.75 and the t statistic for uh, statistic for the distance coefficient is equal to again negative 1.9 minus 0 over 0 0.42 which is equal to negative 4.5 and the next step is we want to see whether these are statistically significant or not based on the 5% significance law so under 5% uh, if the 5% is the significance level in the question then it's going to be a critical value equal to 1.96 so if we take the absolute value of the t statistic for the coefficient cost then it's the absolute value of it is equal to negative um, 3.75 which is of course greater than 1.96 and the same thing for t distance it's equal to negative 4.5 which is again of course greater than 1.96 so we get the same conclusion that at, I'm sorry, at the 5%, 5% significance level, both cost and distance have a statistically significant impact or effect on demand for college okay the p-value you can use the p-value uh, if the question is asking you to do p-value so let's try the p-value on um, for example cost uh, coefficient okay so the for the p-value for the cost coefficient it's a two-sided test as you can see here 
I made it as a two-sided, you can always make it as a one or two. Uh, usually, um, default is two in, uh, in uh, Stata, but you can always override the default. So the p-value is equal to two times the cumulative standard distribution of all the points that are less than negative 3.75, which is equal to two times This point here, uh, which is basically equal to 0 0.1232, and you multiply this times 100, it's going to be like 0.02%, which is very small, right? So there is, if you go back here, there is a very small probability, there is, sorry, um, so there is 0.02% probability that the null is true, right? It's very small probability. When we say small, we need to say smaller than what? Because this one is less than 5%, so it's small, right? Uh, so we need to specify our significance level and say, uh, if you want to see it on the graph, so it's a two-sided test, 5%, we have a rejection region on each side, it's symmetric, so it's 5%, so this is 2.5%, and this is 2.5%, okay, and uh, the p-value is 0.02%, if you divide by 2, then it's going to be 0.01% on each side, so let's say it's going to be like here, something very, very, very small. This is 0.01%. Okay, of course, it's much smaller than that, right? And on the other side as well. Anyways, it's going to be like smaller than the rejection region. So we say that the p-value is uh, less than the 5%. So we basically uh, reject the, we have the same, uh, the same conclusion of reject reject the null hypothesis and say that both uh, or th in this case we have cost is statistically significant you can also do the confidence interval so the confidence interval for beta cost is equal to beta hat cost plus or minus the standard error of beta hat cost Right, multiply times the critical value. So you can write it this way. So it's going to be uh, negative 2.1 plus or minus 0 0.56 times 1.96. And then you can create the interval. Okay. So back to our model. So our model was this one. So we call this one regression number one. What we're going to do next is that we're going to see a regression number two. What is the regression number two? What's going to happen to this regression if we add another variable and we call it the rank of the college? And of course, rank affects the demand for college enrollment, right? So we need to see how rank, if we add rank to this model, how it's going to affect the model. Okay, so let me... Um, write it here so now adding the variable rank to the model and we run the model so what we get is a demand for college hat is equal to 370 minus 1.1 cost minus 1.5 distance minus 0 0.97 rank we have the coefficient of the standard error of each coefficient 0 0.5 and 0 0.37 it's very very important to notice every time you're adding a new regressor to notice what happens to the coefficients in the model 
what happened to the standard error of the coefficients of the model okay so number one if we want to analyze the statistical significance of cost t cost uh, the statistical significance of cost is now as follows it's negative 1.4 which is definitely less than 1.96 and also 1.64 if it is under the 10 percent the p-value if you compute the p-value of the variable cost it's going to be 0 0.16 what is 0 0.16 telling us? There is a 16% probability that beta hat cost is insignificant or equal to zero or that the null is true. Okay, so both of these are telling us that beta hat cost is statistically insignificant. Although the case it was statistically significant sorry, in the original model, we had it as statistically significant. Once we have added rank, it turned out to be statistically insignificant. It becomes statistically insignificant. Notice that the standard error was 0 0.56. When you check what happened to the new regression, it's 0 0.78. Okay, so the 0 0.78 implies that the standard error of the variable cost has increased now we should start thinking okay there might be some correlation between the variable rank and the variable cost that is affecting the standard error of the variable cost okay since as rank was introduced in the model the standard error of beta hat cost has increased okay and also you can think of it as holding distance and rank constant now cost has much smaller effect on demand for college so uh, the main idea of this um, regression or regression number two is showing us that every time I'm adding a new variable in the model I have to make sure that the original model is not very much affected because if there is um, a, like a big difference between the coefficients and the standard error then this is an indication or a sign that there might be an econometric problem between the variables that I've just added and the variables already included in the model. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here, but this should be like a good introduction to the next topic when we start talking about the different econometric problems that we might face in estimating regression models.